Impact News. So there's a lot of rumors going on. In my ass. Impact News. Every single person backstage wants a piece of your ass. Impact News. So there's a lot of rumors going on. In my ass. Impact News. Hey party people, what's going on? It's BQ with the Impact Lounge. Impact News. On the Impact Lounge. In my ass. Hello Impact Loungers, this is Adam with some breaking news. Uh, Impact Wrestling has just released the following press statement. Impact Wrestling announced today that it's terminated its relationship with Sean Ricker, known as Eli Drake. Uh, very short, very sweet message. Um, mixed feelings amongst the Impact Lounge podcasters here. Uh, we all obviously really appreciate all the work that Sean has done for the company. But I don't think it comes as any surprise to any of us at the lounge. In fact, Ro and myself are just finishing this week's Adam and Ro show. We talked about Eli and where he may end up. Uh, so the only thing that is curious about this is the actual timing of the episode in that tonight is WrestleMania. Now, usually with people, when they leave a company, it's announced beforehand. They finish up their set of tapings, these kind of things. Could we be seeing that Eli is going to turn up at WrestleMania tonight? Stranger things have indeed happened, but it does seem very strange that this has happened on exactly the same night that uh, WrestleMania is being hosted. From a personal point of view, I've met and talked to Eli quite a few times over the years. Uh, He has got a brilliant mind for wrestling, and it really has come on the back of quite a tough week for him. It's something that we talked about uh, during this week's show, as I said, you know, the fact that he's been slating into gender wrestling. Well, not slating it, but talking about it in an open way, saying that he believes it's unrealistic. So that's something that's been happening all week. um, And a lot of the other Impact stars have been... um, talking about their dislike of uh, around his comments now this is the interesting thing about all of this is that is it all connected is this why impact has finally had enough of him who knows but um it does seem that there's been a lot going on even even eli himself recently uh spoke in an interview saying that it's time to start thinking about what options i have should i stay or should i go we will find out there's so many options out there uh how can i best boost my brand awareness and how can I put more money in my pocket it's a matter of figuring that out what's going to work best for me in the long term well it looks like one obstacle and one thing that's off the table now is impact it looks like that has done and dusted so where does he end up Wrestlemania tonight or as I predicted um uh, all elite wrestling AEW um that could be a home for him uh, they're just apparently going to be announcing a TV deal soon and he really could be a top star from my point of view him leaving impact I just want to wish him all the best he has been a great servant to the company provided us with some classic moments over the years and I really do think that uh, whoever does end up getting him uh, has got a, a mega star o- o- on their hands just last week I was saying that you could have put him uh, you know in the attitude era and he would have held his own against rock hogan uh not hogan uh rock stone cold all these guys you know he really is that good so um that's it that's the news eli drake is gone he has left the building hashtag last dance indeed it has uh finished on a sour note by the looks of it in very strange circumstances that it's come out of the blue is this a precursor to him appearing tonight time will only tell and by the time you hear this i'm sure we'll be very close to finding out one way or the other make sure you stay tuned to the impact lounge for all your news and make sure you do check out the weekly reviews from both carl and trent and from adam and ro myself uh yeah so uh, we'll catch you soon hit the subscribe leave us your comments below on your favorite eli drake moments and our mission here is simple on fact of life We're gonna go down the line and we are going to name all the dummies. For example, Jeff Hardy. A guy who wants to flip off a scaffolding, not for titles, not for money, but to prove that he's extreme. Well, that's extremely stupid, so I say dummy. Dummy? Yeah. Yeah. Then you look at a guy like Drew Galloway. A guy who carries around a title belt and thinks he's special. I say dummy. Dummy? Yeah. Yeah.